Talking about the Suga of Shemei Koina, just to start with a Mili Dagalato, I, was, I, I once read there was a, um, a journal about a, a show in a, a show in um, Manhattan. It's a big show, prestigious show, and they were looking for um, they were looking for a rabbi. And naturally, there was a lot of candidates trying to vie for the position of the of being a rabbi. They had a lot of applicants, and they narrowed it out, narrowed it down to two to two people. One of them was a very a very much a people's person. You know, you know, was a conversationalist, connected to people. He was warm, but he wasn't. But when it came to speaking, he appeared on the fly, like in you know, the last minute, he would appear, put it together. The other one was tickle it, he had everything prepared, exactly how to say it, he had a fine vocabulary, um, he had, the, he had the, exactly the right tone, the rhetoric, rhetoric of how to speak. So when they go for the Shabbos, they come to the Shabbos together to say their, to say their speech, to have their interview. And um, one of the rabbis is fully prepared for a speech. He knows that the rabbi who prepares for a speech knows exactly what he's going to say, exactly what tone is going to say. The other one doesn't need appeared. So they put them in the hotel room, one next to each other, one next to each other. And um, the, the rabbi who prepares a speech, naturally he's, he's nervous. So he's, he sat, stands there in front of the mirror and he prepares his speech word for word, exactly the tone. Rabbi next door knows that he has to um, say speech. He hears this speech and it's such a beautiful speech. And so it t- enters his heart and it's like so dramatic and he, he just can't get over it. So he does something he knows he shouldn't do. He takes a paper and he starts writing the speech word for word with under, underlying exactly when he goes up, but it goes down. Um, under, uh, every, word for word with the, the tone, uh, everything. Pistol of timing comes Shabbos. So... They, they, they're going to call these people to speak. So, of course, the rabbi who copied the speech says, you know, I really, do me a favor, I really want to be first. I'm very nervous. So he goes first, and he says the speech. And he says the speech with all the po- prose and the drama and the, the, the tone. Uh, the, the second rabbi who prepared this speech is turning blue and right and red. He's like, well, what's he going to do? He has no idea. He has no idea what to do. And he's coming up there. He's shaking legs. His, his heart is thumping. He has no idea what, what he's going to do. Finally, he figures out, he, he, he figures out an idea. He tells him the first rabbi with his, with his rhetoric, with his vocabulary, with his brush up, I, I can't compete with that. But I'll tell you one thing I have. I'm an excellent listener. When you're going to tell me something, I'll enter my heart. I'll never forget it. And I'll prove it to you. I'm going to say his speech word for word. So um, we have it's a, the, the story about Joe goes that he, he got the job. So the idea of listening. Not that we see it. There's a, I once came across a fascinating Gemara in the Bab Astro. <laughs> um, so the, the Gemara of Astro that says, He became sick. What did you see? So he, he got, came sick and had a, uh, went to Shemaim. So what did you see? He said, I saw the Yoinim over here, the people who are forward over here, and the Tachtonim over here, the people who sit in the back over here, over there, they sit in the Maila. So Taisvis says, Pierce been in the time the Amra Goinim Shikabala Biadam. The Goinim had a Kabbalah. Uh, the Goinim having a Kabbalah is a very strong Kabbalah. They sound the same physical walls as the Amraim. So to have the Kabbalah from the Goinim is a strong Messiah. 
So they received a strong Messiah that who, what does it mean that Oilam Hafok and the Rosh Shmuel that Yasser Kameda Rabbi Yehuda that he Shmuel, who in this world was the Rav of Rabbi Yehuda, he was in, in Shemaim, he was he was a Talmud of Rabbi Yehuda. It switched. So that's uh, why Mishum de Micha b'Shmuel b'Perak Ma Behema. Rabbi he it's the the Asa b'Savcha Kameda Shmuel v'Loi Ashper v'Loi Ashperpa. That there was a there was a woman who came in front of Shmuel and he didn't listen to her. I'm like, I'm like, really the lace and mire. Oh, you know the pasuk. Oh, it's Moses and the Masakas. So it's two questions. Number one, in the Gemara Shabbos, it clearly says that Shmuel responded to Rabbi Yehuda. The reason why I'm not answering this woman is because I'm sitting in front of my Rabbi Mar Ukfa and Ein Marim Halach of Nei Rabbi. So of course I can't be. I, of course I can't respond. It's not that I'm ignoring this woman. It's Ein Marim Halach of Nei So he responded good, and the Gemara ends with that. So what's what, what's the problem? Why in Shemayim did they put on the mata? Number two, I mean, this is the Kabbalah that they, they received. The Pasha have to know that they punished they, they punished the Shemayim Shmuel. That's the that, that the Kabbalah going and kept this Masera. A strong Messiah that they, that, they, that, um, that Shmuel switched places. Well, what's the Taichan over here? So, Lachaira, the, the point is because what, what did Shmuel answer? Shmuel answered that I came where what Shmuel was sitting there, and a woman came and was, was screaming. That's the Lashon of the Gemara. And Shmuel didn't respond. You're, you're closing ears from the, hearing the, the the cry of a of a of a poor person. So he said, "I I, I can't I can't be more What was what was what was um, Ravuda telling him? Ravuda was telling him it's true. You can't be more halach but You can't give any instructions. You can't give any advice. But you can listen. You can give your full heart. You can listen. You can give you can give her your empathy, and you can concentrate on what she's saying." That's the pasuk. Even if even if you can't do anything about it, there is oitem ozem mezakestal, and that's what the Messiah of the goyim was. In other words, this is what differentiates tachtoinim and ayoyim. In tachtoinim, what we consider what sits in front is the people with a big microphone, audience, build big buildings. The oilam hamaisa, the maila. It's not necessarily it's oilam It could be just an act of listening, of focusing, giving someone else your heart. That itself will will, will be the maila. And Taka, it's, uh, it's known that Shepard Levi didn't have sh- didn't have a ship with Mitzrayim. The Medrash brings it down. And the reason, the question is, uh, the question is why. Um, there's different answers given. Ramban, Minas um, says it's not Misyash of Alev. The Pari would go ahead and give the Shepard Levi a um, vacation. But well, Pari, the, the Russia, so he says that it was very posh uh, that it, that he heard from the he heard from the Stiginim of of the, that will be from Shepard Levi that will come to the Redeemer. They will come the goyo from the Shevet Levi. So he knew in order to redeem uh, a people, to be a goyo of people, you need, you need to have a, you have to feel their tsar, you have to be mishtatif in their tsar, you have to be involved in their tsar. So he thought the only way to be mishtatif in the tsar is if they're also going to be in Avdus together with Bnei Yisrael. So therefore he, so therefore he made an exception for Shevet Levi. But meanwhile, but he underestimated the, 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 the koyach of, of course, the Moshe Rabbeinu, the Klai Yisrael, Moshe of everyone, to be able to, to be able to listen to someone else. <laughs> Why do you say also the Yehudas when Shabbos. it comes to his Indian? Yeah, well, I can I legally. Yeah. All the Yiddish boys can come to the river. How do you want us to come from Shabbos? Okay. You know, it, was, it just will be. First of all, they say they, they were trying to discuss. It was a very short time. It was very clear. <laughs> they were trying to discuss. By the way, it was a very short period of time. That that whole. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay, Panim, there's a there's a comes to Sfirah Sa'imer. It's a known halacha discussed. And spoken about regarding Shemea Koina, where the poets can say a chidush din. Most of the poets can say this chidush din, the author brings it down. And Really goes intuitively against uh, what, what we what we would have we would have assumed we, we assume whenever we want to, want to hear Shemei Kaina when it comes to Kiddush or Abdallah we say Kli might see me if you're not might see me it's nothing. But the Alter Rebbe in Sifya Beis and Tafkei Tess Sifya Beis brings down really what uh, Magen Avram and the Taz say over here 
not, they say it in Peshat of the Ramah, the Ramah is not clear, but they say it in Peshat of the Ramah, that if someone, if someone, want, if someone is a davening, Mariv, in a minion, he doesn't want to be Yitzhak. Uh, so Toiv, uh, so, so he, he says that he should be, have in mind that he's not Yitzhak with this, with this sphere. So Dati Asher Shaloi lights his sphere Zoom. Because even according to the people who say that mitzvahs don't need a kavana to be yaisa, for sure, and there are a banan, which there's a According to most Roshanim, there are a banan, so the author says, but there are a you don't need kavana. But when you make a chav in the ferish, not to be yaisa, but when you make a chav in the ferish, not to be yaisa, but when you make a chav in the ferish, not to be yaisa, but when you make If you didn't have in mind specifically and clearly, not to be yoitzu with this spear. She used to be like, I'll suffer stop. You just, but you just were, you were, you were, you just were, you were safe for spear. Same. After my beer, after the gamble on an army, and I have a seabird. Even though you, you, you weren't Mavarak now, you didn't, you didn't answer. I mean, lawyer Vark, she used to be like, you shouldn't. So it's because maybe Kfar Yasa de Havasa, I mean, she misses a Sikhavana. So, um, and it goes on, but feel like then it goes on in this halacha that even if he has in mind, I have kavana not to be to the sphere, it's nothing. You have to have, yeah, it's not enough to say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be yet. I don't have to say I'm not Mechavah to be to be Yitzhak. In mind, I don't want to be Yitzhak. Otherwise, you're Yitzhak. And because you're, because, right, because, because, right. No, you're, in other words, according to the sheet, it's a Mrs. Einstruch's Kavana. You're Yitzhak's fair sign. And the clear of this is, Clear this is a as we're going to go into first uh, pastors when someone else is making a, a, a mitzvah, I don't have any connection to him. Why am I yaitza without any kavana? And also, the Alter Rebbe, and it's, it's a Chayra question from Alter Rebbe in Sivav, in Simavav, Siv Tess, he says, Yeshnoigim Sha'ach Shabirch Echa Birch Sha'achar, Onu Achar of Amin. That after the Chayzer Echem Ma'inim Amin Mevarach Ganko Berchas Shachar. So after one person said Berchas Shachar, everyone answered Amin. Someone else goes up in order to they learn a Sadik Amin Amin Bechoyim. In order to say ninety Amins, but Kabbalah to do to not to do ninety Amins. The Ein La'ar Lim Lemish Kfar Yotu Dei Chavos. But don't be mad and say they're ready for Yotze. But Amin Shana Tchila. Neisham Mevarach Ein Mevachav and the Chayzer Achem Dei Chavos. Because Mevarach is not Mechavin. Uh, so the just says the very fact that you're not mechavin to be yotze and or uh, the chazan is not mechavin to be yotze it doesn't say that you're mechavin that I don't want to be yotze just the very fact that you're mechavin not to be yotze it's already enough. So how do we reconcile these two things? Oh yeah. So that's um, really um, uh, this, uh, this idea of whether we need Kavana to be yet. So it's really a Machalikis Apoiskim, a Machalikis Arishonim. And it's based off the over here, just to over here, the Magan Avram and the Taz is, is what the author based himself on and says, says that you don't have to be, have Kavana to be yet. So, your yotz automatically according to the mind the Amman that says Mrs. Ain Sirchas Kavano. And the uh, Primagodim in Rashad Kimo argues and said, makes a differentiation, even though a regular mitzvah ain't sirchas kavana. But when it comes to Shemeya Koina, when it comes to Shemeya Koina, you have to have kavana to be yotza, and the and the Mashmir has to have kavana to be moitz. And really it's a machikis for show you. Rosh Hashanah, Daf Ches. So the Gemara says, the Amar, um, the, the, uh, the, the Rabbi says, Mitzvah ain't sirchas kavana. That they, they don't need kavana. 
And the Gemara asks from Tashma, was going after Shul. Beshama called Shefi, her called Shevering, I call Magila, Inkiba Liba Yatsa, in Lav Loyatsa. So we so we we say the Chaira that it says you don't need to that you do need to have Kavana, so how do you say Mrs. Ainsworth's Kavana? We're, we're comparing the idea of Kavana and the idea of, of being Yatsa. So Mara says over there it's talking about something else because he is is Bachal, he's he thinks he's hearing Bachal, he's not a Shefer, he doesn't even know that he's hearing a Shefer, so it's like he doesn't even know he's doing the act, so it's a Misasa Kavana. Then the Gemara, the end of so that's that's Rabba. And the Gemara, and then the Chavchas and Abayis says, "Amalei Rizel Shamei Ichavin Vitkali Have Kavana and be takeya for me." So, have Kavana and be takeya for me. So Rashi, the Balam, the, ba, the Balamar, the Ritfa, the Rosh says that that Rav Zeir is arguing and holds mitzvahs. Uh, mitzvah srichas kavana. So we have two different shittas. We have one shit that says um, mitzvahs um, ain't srichas kavana. And one shit, one shit that says mitzvah ain't srichas kavana. You don't need kavana at all to be yitzah mitzvah, the chal. And even when you're yitzah for someone else, he doesn't have to have kavana to be moitzi you, and you don't have to have kavana to be yitzah. And then there's another shit that holds that mitzvah srichas kavana. And mitzvah srichas kavana is arguing with two details. Number one, he holds that you have to have kavanah on every mitzvah when you're doing your own mitzvah. And number two, when you're yoytzah for someone else, he has to have kavanah to be moitzi you, and you have to have kavanah to be yoytzah. In other words, the way it's explained, the way, uh, the way it's explained over here, is the mind of our mitzvahs ain't sirchas kavanah, so they hold a maizah mitzvah, an object of mitzvah, it's a mitzvah regardless of kavanah. So anyway, it's an action of a mitzvah. So Mela, when, I, when, I, when I'm yoytzah mitzvah, even without kavanah. Even when someone else does a mitzvah, it's considered a mitzvah for me, as long as I hear, even without kavana. The man to mitzvah is kavana. So not only do, so it's not a chefza of a mitzvah without kavana. So it's clear from the Gemara Erevin that kavana is a din the chefza. It's not a, it's not an object, it's not an object of a mitzvah in, in, in the, uh, without kavana. So therefore, not a, so number one, in order, in order for a mitzvah to be a mitzvah, when I do it, I need kavana. And number two, to be might see others, I also need to make a chest of a mitzvah for them. It's like, in other words, I have to also put his temple on it. I have to put his avodah shem on it. I, have to, I, have to, I also have to have kavana for them. So the mother mitzvah ain't so kavana. You don't need kavana not, not for you, not for you. So the mother mitzvah is kavana, you need kavana for yourself and to be might see others. That's one, that's one avana. And then there's another, then there's the, the Ran in the, says in the Rif, and also the Rashba says in the Rif, that no, Zera is not arguing. Zera agrees that you don't need Kavana. He agrees to Rabbi that you don't need Kavana. But nevertheless, he says, that you should have Kavana to be moist to me because he differentiates between uh, Mrs. Einstein's Kavana in general, but in order to be Yaita for someone else, he needs to have Kavana to be moist. To, to be moist. So according to them, we have three Shittas. We have one shita that says that mitzvahs, like Rabbah, that says Mrs. Srikas Kavana. You have another shita in Arvid Sachim, Rav Yosef, that says that we, um, that Rav Yosef says in Arvid Sachim that you mitzvahs Srikas Kavana, all mitzvahs in Kavana. And now you have a third shita, Rav Zera, later on the Gemara brings. Um, other people agree with him. We have a third sheet of Zera that you need that you don't need kavana in general, but we might see others in the kavana. So you have these two different sheet. This the first sheet is Miss Ainsrich's kavana, and then yeah, this is, and then there's a yeah. Uh, according to most Rishonim, both, both people have to both people have to have kavana. Connected. Oh. So the Chayra, the Pashtos, the first thing that would come to mind is what is this Talui? And the first thing that would come to mind is that it's Talui and what is Shemei Kaina. So everyone understands that Shemei Kaina, you can have two different ways of understanding. Shemei Kaina is that I'm Yitz the Mitzvah. We learn from the from Pasuk and Sukkot that I'm Yitz, that there's two different ways of being Yitz the Mitzvah. One is through um, saying it, and one is through hearing it. So hearing is one way of being Yitz the Mitzvah. Another way of understanding Shemei Ka'ina is Shemei Ka'ina, that when I hear it, it's as if I'm saying it, and the way the Altar brings it down, and we'll, we'll go into it a little bit more later, is like, he's, he's like, he's like my Shliach. 
uh, it, it's, it's famous from uh, uh, Avesa Levi. He says that um, in his, his, there was in Italy in his times, a minhag, kind of, I guess they wanted to have, still, not all the kind of had good voices. There was maybe just one kind that, that had a good voice and uh, the rest didn't, didn't want to ruin the seer. So they had, they had one coin, they had a minhag that one coin made a birch's kahanim. And all the other kahanim were yaitse, shemea coin. So the base lady said, uh, I heard this, God uh, Echo says that is that from Italy that it, that is that's okay. And I um and he says it's 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 it's, it's not okay. But since Shemeya kind of means that you're Yitza with the hit. So that's when when just you have to be when there's just a din that you have to say this 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 Korea, when you just have to say this anira. So then you're Yitza with the hearing. But Birchas Kahanam, we learn in Saita has to be a has to be in a loud voice. So maybe I'm Yitzhak with a maybe I'm Yitzha with uh, a Shmia, but it's not the Kobra. So there's so, so you're not Yitzha. And the Khazanish famously argues and says he goes more or less like the like the Alter Rebbe, but it's it's a, it's a din of the din of Shlichus. That and there and he says that since the person, the other Kayin is saying it to me, for me, the Kobra in a loud voice. So Mamela, it's also considered like we're also saying a call Ram. Just to go through, there's there's many, many, many hundreds of nafkaminas, but I don't know, hundreds, but definitely tens of nafkaminas um, between these two things. Just go to very shortly, two of them. There's the Berchel Sparks and Maz and the Beis Yosef. Beis brings down the Gemara says you have to have an extra wrapping for Berchel Samaz. He's, so he's yeah, so he says, what's the what's the chiddush? Every every time you say askar shem, you have to have a you have to have a cover. So he says, you need an extra special one. And the way Drisha argues and he says, no, the chiddush is that even if the shemim have to, usually the shemayah doesn't have to cover his head, he has askar shem. Interesting when you uh, when it comes up in the ma'aseh. But when it comes to Berchus Muslim, they do have to have the Askar Hashem. And the Bach argues, says, what's the difference? Of course, every bracha, just like the person who says the name of Hashem, has to have a covering also. Um, the, the person the person who hears that have the covering. So now it's the same idea. If it's if it's like he's Shemaya, okay, so when you're mentioning Hashem with your, with your mouth, so you have to have a cover. But it doesn't say, that, and the Lashon Apostle doesn't say when you hear that you have to have a, um, that you have to have a covering. But if it's like, I'm saying, piv, 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 so you have to have a covering. One more that came Practical. No, we're talking about when he wants to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right, right. There is a um, there, there, there was a some practical um, not you know, that, that came up. I don't know if here, but in LA we had a lot of uh, backyard minion, right? So there was a. The, there was there's a question that, that everyone asked or everybody asked. So, like you know if you could say you know all the way from the you know there was a, the, there was there was the tera downstairs and there was bakayra there nobody wanted to go close and uh, you were standing on your porch so you could say maybe so the question was we have to call the bakayra each time which comes sometimes a problem or could we just, the person could stand from far and say the bakayra from there and um, the Mahabra passed means that a Summa, a blind person, um, cannot be cannot be a Tehra because he needs to see inside the Tehra. And the, the Ramah says, but do you have a you could call a Summa? And the Mela, the Pasha is the same thing as over here, the same Achleik is because you're not seeing the Tehra, you're far. far. And the, the same Achleik is the Mahabra and Ramah. What's it tell you? Because that's not every person makes Bachat Tehra in, in, in the morning. So when they made this special Bachazal, made this special dinner, they showed him when they made a special dinner of Tehra when you go up, it was only for someone who reads the Tehra, not someone who, um, not someone who, that's a special din. Even though you read a Berchus Tehra in the morning, you're still, you read, you, when you're reading the Tehra, you have to, for Korea specifically, you have to read Berchus Tehra again. So now the question is, you're going to, so if you're going to, if you're going to be by the Tehra and you're Korea with, together with the Shtesi, but that's how we're Korea together with him. So fine, so you could say a Berchus Tehra. That's, but if I'm just Shemeya, I'm just listening, I don't, I'm not actually being Korea, and that's what the Machab, that's what the holds. So I can't say the Berch Sater. Meshank and the Ramal will hold Shemeya Kaina, that it's Mamish, like I'm saying, so I could, uh, so even though I'm far away, I'm still Shemeya Kaina, so I can still say the Berch Sater. Akaponim, the Al Tareva 
famously in Reish Gimel says very clearly takes on takes takes a position very strongly, and he says that his, that his mouth is like um, like their mouth. Um, so therefore, so Al says very strongly the Shemei Ka'ina is a din shlichus. Uh, so we learn from the Gemara. In other words, we learn the Gemara sikh from the Apostle. We'll get into the Apostle a little in a moment. That Shemei, that as long as you're hearing, you could be there's a, that when it comes to Misaf Amir, you could be Yisaf Bush. Yeah, as long as as long as as long as you as long as you do that condition of hearing. So Lachayro. If you what would be the machlekes if you need to if you need to have kavana to be yotze or not? If you learn shemei kaina is just to hear, if you learn shemei kaina is just to hear, so then I don't need kavana. I'm hearing just like when I do a mice, I don't need kavana. Also, when I hear, I don't need kavana. If I would learn that what shemei kaina that I'm making a shliach, so I need to make have kavana to make him my shliach, and he has to kavana to be my shliach. Otherwise, what, how is he my shliach? If the if the mitzvah is to hear, so just like when I do a, when I say something, I don't need a kavana. When I hear, I also don't need a kavana. But if it's to make a shliach, I need a kavana. So, so what's the kavana? Kavana is to make a mitzvah or to make a shliach. So yeah, it could be a nafkina. But when he has kavana to be moitzni, it's a kavina nafkina. Like uh, true, true, exactly in the lash and the But to be moitzni, lahoitzni is a me. It's included in that to be my shliach. So. Um, so the chayro, the pashas, we had a, we, we we understood the machleik. It's always the machleik. Because if you say shemei ka'ina, it's just that I'm hiyotzer with shmira. I don't need kavan. If you say shemei ka'ina means that I'm that he makes my shliach, I do need kavan. But the altar of doch paskin says shemei ka'ina is a shliach, and nevertheless he holds that you don't need kavan. So what's the havana? The chazanish who takes on very strongly that. Um, that Shemei Ka'ina is a form of shl- uh, somewhat like Shlichos. So he says that, mis- that he says, Mistama, there is a Kavana. Mistam, Mistam, even though there's no Kavana, but a Stam, there's Kavana. Madam, Mitzvah, 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 Mistam is Kavana. Also, madam, also, by Sphere Saimer, also when there is a, uh, when it comes to a Shemei Ka'ina, there is Mistama, a Kavana. Even if we say that Mr. Instruct's Kavana, it's hard to hard to accept that, that would be by Shemea Koina. Because first of all, as the Alter of Assistant Rachel Gimel, there's a sad Mila in um, there's a sad Mila in doing the mitzvah by yourself. So since there's a sad Mila, since there's a sad Mila doing because of mitzvah by Yosin Bishlokoi. So why would I say that the Pashtus he has Kavana, Miss Stummy has Kavana, even though he doesn't realize it? Number two, as we read from the Alter of Sphere Sphere, he says, even though I say I don't have Kavana to be Yosin. Nevertheless, and this is really Lashna place, nevertheless, you are Yaitse. So it's true, I'm not having Kavana. I don't want, so what? He has Kavana in his mind that, he, that I'm not Yaitse, but we say in the stomach you have Kavana for Yaitse. Uh, hard, to, um, hard to say that. Chazanish was really very bothered because he held the was Shlichas. He was very, very bothered with this, with his most of the Rishonim who say the Lamadar Mr. Serkis Kavana, you don't, uh, you don't need Kavana to be. Um, you, you don't need to make, yes, how could it be? How could you be my shliach without kavan? So maybe you can say, based on the Gemara Sukkah, where we learn Shemei Ka'ina. So the Gemara Sukkah says that there, that says, that says there was a Takana from the Nevi'im, that when they were Masak and Halal, that we're supposed to answer Haluka. And every we're supposed to answer for every parak, we're supposed to answer Haluka. That was the original, um, that, that was the original, that, that was the original din, original minhag. Then the Gemara says, Shama Anayana. Shama Anayana. What if you heard Halal and you didn't answer anything? What's the Allah? So I'm like Shama Anayana. That says that read it, read it. 
So we see, uh, so how does it say that Yishio read the Torah when Shafan read it? So we see Shemek, kind of, what is this, what is this Negea? To understand together, what, what, what is the story to Yishio and Shafan? So Yishio was the grandson of Menashe. At the time of Menashe, there was a by the Zara, Malach and Beis, and the Torah was forgotten, or at least by the kings, the Torah was forgotten. And they, um, Yishio, who was his grandson, was wanted to be restored, um, Bring bring Bnei Yisrael to Shiva, restore the void of the base of Middash. So he put the Kohen Gadol to restore the base of Middash. And over there he found Moshe, according to the Shem, uh, uh, according to the Gemara, he found Moshe Abbein with Sefer Torah. And in, uh, in the, so in the, and the Sefer Torah was open to Sefer Dvarim, where it says about the Chacham. So he gave it over to Shafan, who was a Sefer. And Shafan read, read, read this in front of Yeshua, in front, in front of Kali Yisrael. And, the, and through that, there was a bigger Cyrus. So, so it's uh, the Shafan read the Torah, and the Pasuk says the Yishio read the Torah. So we see Shemir Kain. It's a big question. The Gemara says, What's the halach? The Marayim were asking, How is a clear Mishnah in Megillah that there's a din of Shemir Kain? So, what was, what, what, was, what was the Gemara's question? So the, the, the Rishash asks this question over here. He says, a, he, says a, he says something which he acknowledges at the Deichach, that there was maybe a habit in the Megillah, he said, the, the hero, not the Deborah, but there's a Gemara, not like that. So it's a big question. So you could say, and the Yisoyed is almost clear in Gimel, um, that he says, that by Halo, there's a din, at the back, but how there's a din of shira. It's a din of shira that should, it's not just an amira. It's not just, oh, I should be saying these words. It's in a shira. It should be, it should, it should, I should be singing it. It's din of other mayuris. It's a din of simcha. It's a din of kriya, but a din of shira. So in Mela, the Gemara was thinking, even though by, by Megillah, there's, a, there's a, just an idea of amira that you say. It. So over there, there's a din of shemea koin and then amira tzabashlochos. But when it comes to Halloween, there's a din of shira. Maybe I have to, I, I should have to say it myself. It's not enough. It's, 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 one, it's just a fulfillment that I should be, it's considered like I'm saying it. Fine. So when he says I'm, it's considered like I'm saying it. When it's in a shira, not necessarily. And the Gemara, um, so therefore the Gemara says, what does the Gemara bring down? The Gemara brings down from this, from this story of Yishio and Shafa. And the Yishio and Shafa, there was two dinim. There was one din, uh, there was one din of Divrei Torah. That he read, he read the words of Torah. So there's a mitzvah of Talmud Torah. So with 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 Shafan reading the Torah, Ishiyo is my kind of mitzvah of Talmud Torah. So so he was he was he was as if he said the Torah and Mira. But then there was another of Din, which the Chassam Sefer tells on, and everyone tells on. What's that to do with Shmei Kaina? That it's and learns dinner from that. That the Chayra it was just very Musar Bama. It was like a, it was a, it was a, it, was a, it wasn't even a mitzvah, a specific mitzvah. So it was a different Musa to me, but Eric Klai So, so how over there do we have Shemei Kaina? Oh, that's a different din. That's a different din of Shemei Kaina. What's this different din? So this different din is found in the Atar Rebbe. Says Eirach Shemayis Lei Levarich Ve'Ina Mevarich Mekatz. Uh, so Gam called the Mishnah last Shemayim Kaisha Shabracha. Every person should try to get the Kaisha Bracha of Baruch Berachas Zimun. For loyly Shemayim of Lamis Amis Amin, and not to listen and to answer Amin. Sheaf Shad Shemayim Koyne, even though the Shemayim is Koyne, Vaoyne Amin Kamoiti Baracham Apiv. In other words, if he says that Mois Apiv. So we see over here another di- another gather in Shemei Kaina in the Altar of himself. Doesn't over here. The, how does the Altar of say it? Two stages. Shemei is someone who says like Amen, and the person who says Amen is like someone who says a bracha of a piv. So in other words, there is a. There, till now we had two ways. You yaitzah with the shmiyam. It's my own thing. He's saying something, and I'm hearing it. I'm yaitzah. There's another thing. It's a shluchos. There's another thing. There's another thing. A third category of Shemei Kaina. There's there's the there's a chetz of lulav, a chetz of which. Which how, how how to connect to it by taking it? There's chefs of sukkah. How do I connect to it by sitting on it? There's a chefs of a mira of a kriya, 
and how do I connect to it? How do, how do I participate in that chefsa? How does it consider like I'm taking that chefsa, either by saying that chefsa, which usually comes to, or by saying Ami. And there's, now we're learning a third, now we're learning, and now we're learning a third thing. That besides saying Ami, there's also the Shmiya is considered like I'm participating and I'm taking that Amira. So it's not Shluchos and it's not Shmiya, it's a third category over here. So the, that's the, so the Gemara is asking, how do I know? So the Gemara says, but Megillah, I know from the Mishnah Megillah that there's a Din of Shluchos. But the question is from the din, that in Halal, there's a Din of Shira, Sarah, no Shemaya kind of over there. Uh, so the Gemara says that I see from Yeshio that there's a din, that there was over there, it was Divrei Musa, but it's not just an Amira. So how does it, so it, but it's considered like he participated in the different Musa. So, uh, so how do I see that? That's because it's considered as if, um, uh, that, that's because, because like the author ever says, so it's considered like you're participating. And there's an, and there's happens to be another dinner that Gamar and Megillah learned from there, that there's also that uh, 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 in each one has a mile to each other, that if there is a, um, that, that there's a, that happens to be uh, 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 that that you're that, that you're we also learn from there that he was also against the mitzvah of Tamu Torah. How is he against the mitzvah of Tamu Torah? Because there's a shliya. So there's two dinam of Shemaya kind of. So uh, it's really very almost clearly. I, I found that the, 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 the rabbi says Mamsh, the the, 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 the side for for the, the, he brings down this um, he brings down that the. The Rambam who makes two different dinam of Shemei Koina. One is Amin, and one when you say Amin is one din of Shemei Koina. At the uh, it's not two different dharma. There's another din of Shemei Koina when you're um, when you're listening. And he brings down the Meiri and the Rambam in Halal. That the Meiri says that the Meiri says I don't know, it's a little bit sure how we learn the Gemara that by Halal you're not yet Shemei Koina. You have to say Haluka. because so because and he says clearly because there's a din the Rambam brings it down because there's a din of Simcha. So in Mela, you have to have to participate by saying Haluka. And that's the Rambam says, even though Shem, and even though Shemea Kaina, but nevertheless, it's only a Shliach. So the, the Khatkhila with the way you should do it, the very Shmaka beer that ever brings down about uh, the similar the similar uh, 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 that the Rambam brings uh, um Gimel Kaminish nice of Sha'aran, how much a beautiful beer. So he so in other words, in Halal, you're supposed to um, the Rambam says, but Khatkhila, you have to participate in Shiranat and Shemea Kaina, the Shemea Kaina, that's the right minhah. So we see clearly, so there's two different dinim of Shemei Koine. There's the idea of Shemei Koine that you could, that you're participating. And there's also Shemei, uh, that, that, well, like Aina Amin, and also like a Shtia. Based on that, I just want to answer very quickly the, there is a, there's the, 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 of whether in Shvira Oimer, there is a, a, a idea of Shemei Koine. So the Lavush, Said the way the Prima Gundam explains him that there's no Shemeya Karna Besura Samer. But Sephartam teaches you that Bezdin is, it's not a mitzvah on Bezdin, but it's a mitzvah on the Kol Yisrael. Lachem teaches you that there's, that we learn from X, the word Lachem, because as opposed to Yevel, so Sephart Lachem teaches you the Shemeya Karna by, they, there's no Shemeya Karna. That's what Lavush says. Chagat agrees. And the Prichadash, the Ram argue. And they say that um, there is Shemei Kainis for Sarimer. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't, we just learned one thing, but Bezin doesn't do it. And Prechadosh asks a very, very strong question on, on the, on, on the Lavush. He says, if it's true that we learn from the Chem that there's no Shemei Kaina, so that means, what are we assuming that there's a din of Shemei Kaina, but Just over here by Sarimer, Sarimer, there is no Shemei Kaina. So why did the Gemara Sukkah have to learn it from a Navi that there's a din of Shemei Kaina? There's, it's, it's, it's a clear assumption in the Torah. If, if, if we see from the Chem, that what does the Torah say? X word of the Chem for it says the Chem that it's a um, it's it's it says the Chem say there's no Shemei Kainah by Shvir That means Shemei Kainah there is Shemei Kainah. So why did the Gemara have to learn from Divrei Kabbalah? But according to what we're saying, there was the, what do we learn from that passing Divrei Kabbalah? If it would just say by Shvir Saimer, so I would say, for example, by spiris, uh, well, spiris Aimer, you can't make a shliach because it's, well, well, let's say spiris Aimer, it's not a, you can't participate because a spiros and spiros, there's no such thing. Just by saying, I mean, there's no no participation. But cool, there's a different than a spiros Aimer of participation. I want to know if there's a din of shluchos or whatever way is. But in other words, because the shemek, we learned from that pasuk in sukkah, we learned two dinim 
If it would just say by spheres, I would just learn one din of Shemei Akoyin. I would just see an assumption that there's one din of Shemei Akoyin. But from the, from the Gemara and Sukkah, we learn two din of Shemei Akoyin. So, uh, so uh, there's, uh, bottom line, how do we answer to this? So, the, so first of all, the Chayra's answer based on the Da'at Rebbe, since, since, there's a diff, since there's also another din of, since there's also another din of Shemei Akoyin. So Mela, the Mandam or Mrs. Ain Sirhus Kavana, so that, that the Shemeya itself is considered participation. And so the Manda is so, uh, and it's half of Mitzah even without my thing. So therefore the Mandam or Mitzah Sirhus Kavana Mitzah is true that the whole Shlichos, and when there's a Mila in the Manish Pita Kapil, that's what the Altrebis says. It's different than Shemes Altrebis Shemeya Kavana, but there's also another thing of Shemeya Kavana, even without, um, even without Kavana. Also, based on that, we can we can we can understand the stira, not the stira, the question in Sivav that um, that, that, that Rebbe says that over there that it's enough that that, that you're you're, you're not yotze without kavana because why? Because over there the, we're talking about when you say amin, and what's the amin for? The amin amin is not to be yotze, but the amin is to just just to be just to have its so when I'm saying Amen, that's a different category of Shemei Akoina. I'm not participating with my Shemira, Shemira. I'm participating with the, it's like saying like every Amira has a Shemira. Every time I say something, I have a Shemira. That, that's real. What's not? When I'm saying Amen, I'm just doing it with the Amen. And what's my Amen for? My Amen is, uh, my, my, my Amen is not, it's a different type of Amen. It's Amen, it's not that I'm just the Amen, the, like the, the Rebbe over there in Sikha, the Rebbe in Hashlechi, um, says so somebody else, there's two different types of Amin. It's an Amin, not that I'm saying that I'm saying this also, we see, we see this in short, but I'm uh, Amin to his bracha because I don't want to be Yitzhak. And Mela, there, therefore the steer is understood. It's not much like Hapach Kavano. If, uh, since there is, uh, so when, when I'm not saying Amin, I'm just hearing it. So if I don't, so I'm going to be Yitzhak automatically. But when I'm saying Amin, and my Amin is for a different intention, so then, um, so, so, so then I'm not going to be I'm not going to be yotze without kavan. It's always like hepech kavan. Okay, so there's many uh, there's other researchers that can answer secret space mitzrayim based on this based on this idea in the altar of shemei koina. Thank you.